there was a massive milestone towards the back end of the last week, with Airbus delivering their 500th A350. Before I begin, it would mean a lot to me if you checked out my new aviation analysis channel, Globetrotting at DJ's Aviation. We've already discussed Boeing's scrapped 787 Dreamliner variant and explained in depth why United Airlines left New York JFK. Now, that all-important 500th delivery, it's a milestone for the aircraft manufacturer. However, more so than ever, it highlights the next era of the Airbus A350. The A350-900 was delivered to Iberia, however, it's not quite like your run-of-the-mill Airbus A350. It has various changes and differences that make it stand out, and as best described by Airbus, allow them to spread their wings further, and be more versatile in the production standard moving forward. The new production standard sees additional performance and cabin improvements for both members of the family. That includes the Dash 900 and the Dash 1000. The series now brings a weight reduction of what has been calculated up to 1.2 tons. This has been done by optimizing systems and structures that increase the use of advanced materials. It means also that the maximum takeoff weight has been increased by a further 3 tons. This results in the maximum range of each model now actually being able to stretch beyond 8,000 nautical miles as per Airbus. This is especially for when the aircraft has a higher payload. Of course, being quite the positive for airlines that are looking towards longer ranged flights, a trend becoming increasingly more popular with many airlines looking at stretching their route network as far as possible. There's also a wider interior cabin, which allows for the flexibility to, as per Airbus, offer an additional 30 seats in a three-class configuration. This is one of the areas that has undoubtedly, though, received some criticism online and in forums. Adding capacity onto an existing aircraft has its drawbacks, and many have noted that they feel such a direction will lead to cabins overall feeling more cramped, which is ultimately something you'd want to be trying to avoid. However, Airbus throughout this entire process have ensured that through the cabin redesign, you will not lose any of the comfort that you would experience on an aircraft with less seating. The EVP, Programs and Services at Airbus said, When we designed the A350 and delivered the first one, we were extremely proud to have created a real clean sheet state-of-the-art aircraft, delivering unmatched performances and economics. It offers outstanding space, comfort, and quietness to the passengers, and contributes significantly to decarbonizing aviation. The A350 is providing today a versatile platform to support our customers' strategy in front of a more and more complex environment. Sustainability, of course, is at the forefront of so many companies' minds, and the changes being made to the Airbus A350 series align with the company's goals to meet those sustainability targets. They want the best for their customers and their aircraft program. To Jester, Flash Cuban, Got to Cast with B, Daniel Elliott, Leslie Austin 9, Will Jaden, Al Waleed, Neil Don, and Jam, thank you very much for being cabin crew members. If you have any thoughts on the upgraded Airbus A350 that has rolled out, please do let me know below in the comments. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate your support, and I'll see you next time.